where are you going? Back to the dry cleaner. Look at this. I didn't get the stain out of my Starfleet uniform. Well, if you didn't make me wear the green body paint in bed, you wouldn't have to get it dry cleaned so much. <laughs> nah, it's worth it. Hey, wait, it's your mom. Oh, too bad she just missed me. <laughs> Hey, Beverly. Oh, hello, Penny. Uh, Leonard just left. He's going to be so upset he missed your call. Why? Because he... Yeah, I don't know. How are you? Did you mean personally or professionally? Um, personally? Like, what'd you do last night? I had Cuban food at the home of a man with whom I shared unsatisfying intercourse. <laughs> wow. Okay. And to anticipate your next questions, roasted pork and sideways missionary. Sure, sure, because you were full. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Beverly, you called my phone, not Leonard's. Actually, I was hoping to speak with you. Is this a good time? Uh, that depends. What time is it where you are? Uh, just after five. <clears throat> yeah, that counts. What's up? <laughs> well, I enjoyed our conversation the other day, and I was hoping to continue it. Really? Uh, yes, you may find this surprising. But I don't have a lot of what you would call girlfriends. What? <laughs> of course, there are my female colleagues, but uh, they're all Freudians. So the only boy that I can dish about is my father. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm here for you. What do you want to talk about? Well, last time we focused on my life. If we're going to be real girlfriends, we should talk about you as well. Well, you know, if we're going to be real girlfriends, we should get a third girl we can trash behind her back. <laughs> oh, so we'd be catty. Oh, I like it. What about Sheldon's fiance? She seems a bit dour. Oh, dour. Meow. <laughs> Leonard, did you really just text me from the couch to put extra mustard on your sandwich? I was worried you might not check your email. I swear to God, I will throw this out. <laughs> that one was not me. Oh, uh, wait, it's just your mom. My mother's texting you? Yeah, we've been talking a lot lately. Why? Is she sick of talking to the magic mirror on the wall? <laughs> no, I think she's lonely. She's been reaching out. OK, just be careful. You think you're getting close to her, and the next thing you know, you're featured in a book called He's Doing It on Purpose, Raising a Teenage Bedwetter. It's not like that, you know? She's been opening up about her life, and she's actually been really supportive about mine. Really? Yeah. I've been telling her about my job, and she said she was proud of me. Well, that's great. <laughs> Never told me she was proud of me. <laughs> Even when I stayed dry for a whole month. <laughs> Do you not want me to be friends with your mom? Well, let's be clear. I, I married you to hurt her. You're kind of ruining it. 